So typically the customers have a vision of what they want basically coming from an existing machine design or existing cab that they have. We'll walk around the cab uh, with the customer if they already have one and talk about the things they like, the things they don't like, and they usually generally have a direction that they want to go and the changes that they'd like to make on future designs. If they don't have a cab yet and they're making a machine that's new to having a cab, then typically we'll take a look at past designs that we've done and perhaps it, it's close enough that it works for their design and at least it gives them a starting point. Some of them know what they want, some of them don't know so we have to help guide them in discussion and I think uh, by providing examples and giving them different looks gives helps them narrow in the focus of the design that they're looking for at the end. The first few items you look at in designing a cab would be where does the operator sit? Is he standing? Is he sitting? Uh, and then where is his view paths? Where is he looking to do his work? And where else does he need to look on the machine? So where is, is there window placements? Then from there you start to think about placement of HVAC. If they have that in the cab, um, is there a door uh, or what's the exit uh, route? that the operator needs to take. So you look at, start building in the walls effectively around him then. And then obviously you're knowing, you have to know the space claim area and the constraints that you're working within. Uh, but those are the primary uh, things you look at first. From the beginning, you also need to know if it's a ROPS or FOPS rated cab. Does it already have a structure external to the cab or does it not have any requirements as far as testing that we need to pass for certification for the cab? In that case, we can use different um, material choices, thicknesses. The beams can be a thinner gauge versus thicker, so it gives us more flexibility in the design. Generally, with our Historical designs of cabs were able to pull from experience and if it already has a standard it needs to meet We've done cabs in that avenue So we know that's going to need this certain wall thickness We'll probably go with these type of structural beams in order to meet that at least as a starting point And then we'll run FEA analysis to tell us whether or not we're, we're meeting that or we need to increase it further I think one of the benefits of having GS design the cab is that we've been doing it for a number of years now and we have experience in HVAC we have experience in windows what's the aesthetics they're looking for not only do we uh, have experience in the operator controls which we've been doing for many years the ancillary things of the cab that maybe the other cab designers uh, in the marketplace they're focused on steel design and and that we can do that but we can add the additional layers in to create the populated cabs which set us apart